Welcome to MathAndSciencePower.com. If you like what you see here, please remember to subscribe, comment, rate, and share. Okay, chapter 16, problem number 2, asks us two charge balls are 20 centimeters apart. They are moved, and the force on each of them is found to have been tripled. How far apart are they now? Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing a picture. We have two charge balls. We don't know what the charge on them is. We'll just call them Q1 and Q2. And we know that it is 20 centimeters apart. Okay, so let's remember our formula that F equals uh, the force between two charged particles equals the proportionality constant K times Q1 times Q2 divided by the distance between them squared. So at the beginning of the experiment, the force between them, whatever it may be, is equal to K, Q1, Q2, divided by, and the distance between them is 20 centimeters. I'm going to write that as 0 0.20 meters. I'm going to convert that to meters squared. And then the two balls are moved closer together and the force triples. So three times the force is now KQ1, Q2, divided by D squared. And the question is, what is the distance now? So both of these equations are essentially solved for F already. Uh, this one not quite, so I'm going to go ahead and solve it for F. Divide both sides by 3 and this will cancel. I could solve both of these equations for any of these unknowns, F, Q, Q1, Q2, and K. Uh, it doesn't matter. F is going to be the easiest. So on this side I'll be left with F equals and I'll just write this as k over 3 q1 q2 divided by d squared so I know that the the f's in these equations are equal so that means that what these f's equal must also be equal so what we have is kq1 q2 divided by 0 0.20 meters squared that's this equation must equal this equation k over 3 q1 q2 divided by d squared and we need to solve for d squared so the first thing I'm going to do is since the k q1 and q2 uh, these are all equal. I'm going to divide both sides by K, Q1, Q2. So all of this will cancel. And what we are left with is when these cancel we get 1 over 0 0.20 meters squared is equal to, and same thing when these cancel, I'm left with 1 divided by 3d squared. And then since these fractions are equal, their reciprocals must be equal. So I'll just show that as raising this to the negative 1 power. And when we do that, all that happens is the fraction flips. We get 0 0.20 meters squared equals 3d squared. But we want to solve this for d, so I'm going to start by dividing by 3. The 3's will cancel on both sides. And we'll get 0 0.20 meters squared over 3 equals d squared. But I don't want to know what d squared equals, I want to know just d. So to get rid of this square, we'll take the square root of both sides. The square root will cancel this square. And we will get the square root of 0 0.20 meters squared 
over 3 equals d. And when we take the square root of a fraction, we just take the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom. So in the numerator, the square root will cancel the square. And we'll just get 0 0.20 meters. And then in the bottom, I'll still have the square root of 3. And the denominator equals d. Okay, so we will do 0 0.20 divided by the square root of 3. And that gives us 0 0.115, and our units will be meters. So 0 0.115 meters equals D. Or we could write this as 11.5 centimeters equals D. And I would only do that because the original problem gave us the distance in centimeters. Okay, on behalf of mathandsciencepower.com, thanks for watching.